The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior Jesus Christ, who on this day overcame death and the grave, and by his glorious resurrection opened to us the way of everlasting life. And so with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth, and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. steadfast love and mercy we live and move and have our being from ancient times you have blessed our going out and our coming in you guided Noah and his family through the waters of the flood you walked with Abraham and Sarah on their journey to Canaan you led the Israelites out of slavery through the sea and across the desert to the land of milk and honey you accompanied the exiles into Babylon and then brought them out again to a joyous homecoming by a star you led the wise men to the infant Jesus you kept the Holy Family safe during their sojourn in Egypt. You accompanied the disciples on the walk to Emmaus, and you directed the apostles on their missionary journeys. In love for your erring children, you walked with Jesus through the countryside as he ministered to those in need, providing the water and word that is the food for our journey of discipleship. And on that last day, giving us himself, that we might always dwell in you and you in us. On the night before he took his final steps to the cross, our Lord Jesus took bread and gave thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. With this meal, we remember Jesus giving himself for us, and that Christ our Savior is the same yesterday, and today, and forever. Let us therefore together proclaim the mystery of our faith. Christ is died. Christ, Christ is risen. Christ, Christ will come again. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us, O God, that in this meal we might be strengthened for our continuing journey as the body of Christ in the world, witnessing to your love, knowing that you are always with us wherever the road takes us, and that in you all shall be well. With all the saints of all times and places, we praise you, Holy God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, today, tomorrow, and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray together as Jesus taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And then give us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. This morning we'll do continue, continuous communion. I will stand at the front with the bread, and then service will be on either side of me with chalices of wine or individual glasses. In the trays with individual glasses, there's 